In this video, we will show quality control for DLCO on MGC Diagnostics Pulmonary Function Systems using Ascent software. DLCO quality control should be performed weekly per the ATS guidelines. This test is performed with BTPS correction turned off. This means you can add DLCO testing to the same patient visit that was used for syringe spirometry testing. Proceed to the DLCO test screen. Prior to each DLCO effort, place the umbilical clip into the calibration port and perform a DLCO gas calibration. Once the gas calibration has passed, connect the umbilical clip to the prevent flow sensor. The white DLCO QC coupler should be used for DLCO QC testing. The coupler has a smaller internal diameter, which allows better mixing of the gas inside the syringe. The coupler is placed between the prevent flow sensor and the syringe. Connect the syringe and flow sensor to the head of the system. Have the syringe plunger pulled out to about the one liter mark. Click the start button or press the space bar to begin the effort. Place your thumb at the 2 liter mark on the syringe plunger. Perform 3 to 4 tidal breaths. Then push the plunger to exactly the 2 liter mark. Press the space bar to close the distal shutter and pull back 2 liters of diffusion gas. The system will automatically lock you out for 20 seconds to allow gas mixing in the syringe. After 20 seconds, the shutter will reopen and you can push the syringe plunger in all the way. The effort will automatically stop and you can review the results. Looking at the data from the efforts, Verify that the IVC from each effort is between 1.90 to 2.10 liters. The measured value of DLCO must be less than 0.5 milliliters a minute per millimeters of mercury or less than 0.166 moles a minute per kilopascals if using SI units. Using the IVC from each effort, find the measured IVC in the second column in the MGC QC table. The target VA along with the VA minimum and maximum will be to the right of the measured IVC. Verify that the measured VA is within the minimum and maximum values in this table. If the IVC is not within range, recalibrate the flow sensor and perform another DLCO effort. If the VA or DLCO are not within range, perform another gas analyzer calibration and repeat the effort. The 2017 ATS ERS DLCO guidelines also have a recommendation for quality control. These recommendations can be used in place of the previous MGC specifications. The guidelines state that each week or whenever problems are suspected, a DLCO QC check should be performed. This check should be performed in a normal patient test mode, meaning the BTPS correction is turned on. From the Ascent Home screen, select the Add Patient icon. Click on the Settings wheel and then select Syringe BTPS On in the Patient Type drop-down menu. This will leave the BTPS corrections on per the ATS. Only the ID and name need to be entered. Next, click the Save and Create Patient Visit button. Proceed to the DLCO test screen then press F5. 
In the DLCO F5 options, ensure the fixed anatomical dead space box is checked and the dead space is correct for your syringe. Each syringe will have its dead space value printed on the syringe or on a label at the bottom of the syringe. Before each DLCO effort, place the umbilical clip into the calibration port and perform a DLCO gas calibration. Once the gas calibration has passed, connect the umbilical clip to the prevent flow sensor. The white DLCO QC coupler should be used for DLCO QC testing. The coupler has a smaller internal diameter, which allows better mixing of the gas inside the syringe. The coupler is placed between the prevent flow sensor and the syringe. Connect the syringe and flow sensor to the head of the system. Have the syringe plunger pulled out to about the 2 liter mark. Click the start button or press the space bar to begin the effort and perform three to four tidal breaths. Then push the plunger all the way in. Press the space bar to close the distal shutter and pull back three liters of diffusion gas. The system will automatically lock you out for 20 seconds. After the shutter reopens, push the syringe plunger in all the way. The effort will automatically stop and you can review the results. The specifications from the ATS are that the VA must be within 300 milliliters of the target. The VA target is calculated by taking the syringe volume of 3 liters times the ATPD to BTPS correction factor. In the example shown, the room temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit, or 295 degrees Kelvin, which is used in the equation, and the barometric pressure is 740. The target VA is 3.26 liters. The measured value of DLCO must be less than 0.5 milliliters per minute per millimeters of mercury or less than 0.166 moles per minute per kilopascals if using SI units. If the VA or DLCO are not within range, recalibrate the flow sensor, perform another gas analyzer calibration and repeat the effort. Note. If any value in the DLCO F5 option screen was changed prior to DLCO testing, they should be changed back to their original settings. Biologic QC should also be performed on a regular basis using subjects that are healthy and non-smoking. Refer to the ATS Pulmonary Function Laboratory Management and Procedure Manual which can be purchased at the ATS website, www.thoracic.org. Thank you for watching this video. Information on quality control can be found in the MGC Diagnostics Product Bulletin, part number 140255-001. To obtain a copy of this bulletin, or if you have any questions on quality control, contact our Technical Support Department at 1-800-333-4137 or email us at support at mgcdiagnostics.com.